Okay, welcome back guys. So let's start doing the painting of this thing. Let's paint this some more. Try this white paint all over it. Let's get the white paint in. Okay. So I think I will put the white. Let's try put the white paint around the. Uh, maybe around the uh, instead. So I'll duplicate this. Are the black marks? Use more of this dull white paint. <clears throat> okay. I think I need a difference. Let's try this ink. Yeah, it's perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. You can see it breaks up. It's interesting. I was thinking I'm going to be using a brush that'll be much harder to use, but this is just this will work just fine. Okay. okay. Let's start. Okay, let's. Focus on the head like so. Okay. There's just another one around here. Increase the brush size. Right. So I'll give it light handed. Okay. So I'll focus more on the larger spec of this. More of the larger spec of this. Okay, increase the brush size some more. I think I need some gap. Okay, all right, let's add some more around here. Some more here. Okay. Okay. That doesn't look broken up, broken up enough. Okay. Yeah, this is this is coming out quite nicely. I think I'll try something around here also. Okay. All right. Let's go to the tail. All right, so this is coming out quite nicely. Let me drop this down somewhere here. Down here. Let's try it down here instead. No, it should be up. Mm -mm. Also, have another curvature on top of this, so I think I will dig this down some more, like so. All right, getting something in there. See the inner, inner parts of the mouth should. Okay. 
get something. Oh, on the wrong place, wrong place, wrong place. Let me name this white stripe white stripes. Okay. Have something in here. I'm still going to break symmetry on this. But for now, let's just keep painting some shape here and there. Just some of this larger shape. Okay. Yeah, something like this looks interesting. I think we need a bit more around here. Right. So I think okay. <clears throat> Let's break the matrix and we'll turn this off. Take down the brush size. Hit X on the keyboard and begin to kind of create some breakups in here. So it doesn't look completely identical on both sides. Not just erasing, I can also paint back. So, more or less like little of both words. Now let me remove that. Okay. No, choose it from this part instead. Okay. So, Raise most of this. We had one around. No, that's a bit weird. Probably complete this. Add more around here. So that should break. That should break that up some more. Yeah, so that, that should break up the symmetrical nature of this. Do a quick save. Then we need to kind of add some spots, some white spot around the entire thing. I think the previous color was fine. Maybe increase this some more. Okay. I'll duplicate this. Add the black marks. Name this white spots. This white spots. Okay. Uh, yes, white spots, white spots, white spots, white spots. Um, okay. Uh, add a few layers to this. Let's use the spots. Okay. 
this spot that is a bit deformed this one looks like a good one so much of that this is another good one i think i think i would have a blend of these two so let's add this pull this up a bit more go in there use let's see the marks for this the marks for this use triplanar mapping this is just way too tight and it's just way too big also so let's tie this five that's a good one Is there a randomizer? Is there a randomizer here? Yeah. First of all, let's see what we have. So we need more contrast. Maybe even less contrast. Uh, I think I need to break this up some more. So add another few layer. Use the BW spots. Put this on multiply. Triplanar mapping. No triplanar mapping instead. Reduce this some more. No, this won't work. We need something a bit sharper. This won't work. We need something a bit sharper. So let me just duplicate this for now. Hide this. Now nah, this won't work. I use a different kind of spot brushing here. Or spot rather, let me use sounds a bit sounds kind of kind of like it. Let's try this instead. Okay, it's an interesting one. Definitely an interesting one to use. Let's put one in here. But we need to break. We need to break this up. So this BW. Um, let me hide this for now. Let me add this for now. I want to add a filter to this. Let's add the WAP. WAP filter. WAP. Let me close this for now. So that will kind of break it up a bit more. Yeah, something like this should be fine. Something like this is fine. Everything just yes, that is just all over the place. We want it to be all over the place. So, I think I'll add another few layer. No, not mistake. Few layer instead. Few layer instead. Um. Fill layer instead. Multiply. Triplanar mapping. Okay. I think we have no choice. We just have to go in there and add the paint layer and then remove some of this. Let me use a dead brush instead. For example, I need to paint. Yeah, no. 
hit X on the keyboard. And I move this most of this is a bigger brush size. Turn on symmetry for this. Move most of this around here. Don't need anyone around here. Yeah, we need. Here also, we need even more. Need even more around here. But no, there's a way to uh, there's a way to kind of splatter that around it. But I think for the most part, this should be fine. Should be fine. Okay. Do a quick save. I think we can use the dot brush X on the keyboard to put it to white, then sync. And I think I use a stronger opacity for the brush. I would like to space increase the spacing some more. Yeah, something like that to be fine. Same use the brush size, do same in here. That should be fine. Okay, something like this should be fine. All right, think we're in a good place. Do a quick save. Do a quick save. And I think we're just going to texture the eye next in next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now. Okay.